when one speaks of awakening, it means dehypnotization, coming to your senses. But of course, to do that, you have to go out of your mind. <laughs> And so, in this way, we haven't realized that life and death, black and white, good and evil, being and non-being, come from the same center. They imply each other, so that you wouldn't know the one without the other. Now, I'm not saying that that's bad. That's fun. You are playing the game that you don't know that self and other go together in just the same way as the two poles of a magnet. So that when anybody in our culture says, uh, slips into the state of consciousness where they suddenly find this to be true and they come on and say, I'm God, we say you're insane. Now, it's very difficult. You, you can very easily slip into the state of consciousness where you feel you're God. It can happen to anyone. Just in the same way as you can get the flu or uh, measles or something like that, you can slip into the state of consciousness. When, when you get it, it depends upon your background and your training as to how you're going to interpret it. If you've got the idea of God that comes from popular Christianity. God as the governor, the political head of the world, and you think you're God, then you say to everybody, well, you should bow down and worship me. But if you're a member of Hindu culture, and you suddenly tell all your friends I'm God, instead of saying you're insane, they say, congratulations, at last you found out. Because their idea of God is not the autocratic governor. When they uh, make images of Shiva, say, he has ten arms. How would you use ten arms? It's hard enough to use two. You know, if you play the organ, you've got to use your two feet and your two hands, and you play different rhythms with each member. It's kind of tricky. But actually, we're all masters at this. Because how do you grow each hair without having to think about it? Each nerve. How do you beat your heart and digest with your stomach at the same time? You don't have to think about it. In your very body, you are omnipotent in the true sense of omnipotence, which is that you are able to be omnipotent. You are able to do all these things without having to think about it. When I was a child, I used to ask my mother, of course, all sorts of ridiculous questions that every child asks. And when she got bored with my questions, she'd say, darling, there are some things we're just not meant to know. Well, I said, will we ever know? She said, yes, of course, when we die and go to heaven, every God will make everything plain. So I used to imagine that on wet afternoons in heaven, we'd all sit around the throne of grace and say to God, well, now, why did you do this and how did you do that? And he would explain it to us. Heavenly Father, why are the leaves green? And he would say, because of the chlorophyll. And we'd say, oh. <laughs> but in the Hindu universe, you would say to God, how did you make the mountains? And he would say, well, I just did it. Because what you're asking me for when you ask me, how did I make the mountains, you're asking me to describe in words how I made the mountains. And there are no words which can do this. Words cannot tell you how I made the mountains any more than I can drink the ocean with a fork. A fork may be useful for sticking into a piece of something and eating it, but it won't, it is, is no use for, for, for imbibing the ocean. It would take millions of years. So it would take millions of years. In other words, you would be bored with my description long before I got through it, if I put it to you in words. Because I didn't create the mountains with words. 
I just did it. Like you open and close your hand. You know how to do this, but can you describe in words how you do it? But you do it. You are conscious, aren't you? Do you know how you manage to be conscious? Do you know how you beat your heart? Can you say in words, explain correctly how this is done? You do it, but you can't put it into words. Because words are too clumsy. And yet you manage this expertly for as long as you're able to do it.